Hello and welcome to the 30th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at drawing using vertex arrays but we're going to be looking at some more complex methods of drawing. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Okay, in the previous tutorial we uh, drew some simple vertex arrays. We, had, we did a triangle, we did a quad, we did a line and we did a point when we were able to use the point which was a vertex four um, vertices on the line, the trunk or the quad and a vertex as we mentioned or a vertex as we mentioned holds a position x and y position and a color attribute as well RGB. But you can also draw vertex strips and fans which essentially connect vertex arrays allowing you to create even more complex shapes whilst doing it in a single core to the GPU, hence being very efficient. We will first cover lines strip, but before we actually do that, we need to actually open our project. Line strip is a set of connected lines. The end vertex of a line is used as the starting vertex for the next line. So to create a line strip, you just do SF vertex array. I'm going to call it lines and then you initialize it with SF. You don't do lines, but you do lines, strip. Then how many vertices you're going to have? I'm just going to have three. And now what we do is just lines zero dot position equals SF vector to F. And in here, I'm just going to put 50 by 40. And then I'm going to set the color of the first vertex dot color equals ff color red and now what we're going to do is just copy and paste this as your help us save time instead of writing it all out again and we just need to change this to a one this to a two i'm going to change this vertex position to 300 by 50 change the color to magenta not magenta, mag magenta, there we go. And now it's going to change this position to 200 by 200. I'm going to change the color to green. And as we always do, let's draw the line to the window. So to do that, let's go down here, do window.draw. Now it's going to specify the line strip. Now if we just click debug. We have our line, we basically have our first line and then our second line. And as you can see, there are three vertices. There's the first vertex, the second vertex, and the third vertex. So to cover again, first vertex, second vertex, and the third vertex. And it just, the second line, it starts where the first line finished. And if you were to have a fourth line, it would start here and end wherever you set it. Okay, the next part we're going to be covering is triangle strip, which is a set of connected triangles. Each triangle shares its last two vertices with the next triangle. I'm going to do SF vertex array triangle strip. This is just what I'm calling it. I'm going to specify SF triangles strip. And obviously, how many vertices do they have? I'm going to put four. And for this, we're just going to do triangle strip zero dot position equals SF vector to F. And for the position, I'm going to specify 30 by 50. Now I'm going to put or specify the color for the first vertex of so dot color equals SF color red. And now I've got to copy and paste this and change this to a one. No, that should still be a one. Change this to a two. The final one will be at index three. Now we just update the position and color. I'm going to put this at 200 by 75. Put the color as yellow and put this position as 10. Put this as 200, change the color red to magenta. And now I'm going to change the position of the final vertex to 500 by 500. And we'll set the color as cyan. I do like cyan. And the, tri the triangle strip now needs to be drawn to the window. 
what we would do instead of adding another draw call we'll just update this to say triangles strip now let's just rerun our application okay as you can see it sort of looks like a diamond shape but let's just explain what's happened we have a triangle here you, you, should, uh, you should be able to see and you can see the gradient change here and we have our other triangle here basically this was the first exactly this is confirm so 50 by 40, yeah, this was the first vertex point. The next one was 300 by 50, which was this one. And then the next one was 200 by 200. And after these have been drawn, it automatically fills the coloring. So we look like a triangle. And then when we specify the last vertex, actually I'll, I'll look at the lines then. Uh, I'm meant to be looking at this one. So it's 30 by 50, 200 by 75, but yeah. It, it was in the right order and anyway but and then the final vertex which was this one 500 by 500 what it does is it uses the last two vertices of the previous triangle which is this one and this one so if if let's say we were to put this vertex over here it would overlap the other triangle and if we were to put it here it would slope down in a similar manner but it would down to this point the final thing we're going to be looking at is triangles fan, which are a set of triangles connected to a central point. The first vertex is the center, then each vertex defines a new triangle using the center and the next vertex. So let's just create a new array, SF vertex array triangles fan, and we're going to do SF triangle not triangle strip or triangles we're going to say triangles fan how many vertices we're going to put four you can have more but just for the purpose of these tutorials we're keeping it small so we can quickly get it done so we're going to put triangles fan zero dot position equals sf vector to f i'm going to put 300 by 300 for the position triangles fan zero dot color because sf color red and now what we're going to do is copy and paste this change the zeros to ones here to twos here and the final one will be three now let's just update the position i'm going to change this to 50 put this as yellow and we put this one as 300 by 300 it could be anything you want but we put it as 300 by 300 if you remember our screen is 600 by 600 so it's going to be in the center of the screen so it just looks a little better but again it depends on what you require for your game i'm going to put this as 450 by 250 put the color of blue and we're going to change this position to 350 by 400 and change the color to cyan and now finally we just need to update the draw core down here we take triangles fan instead rerun our application okay there we go we have our center point then the next point was here the next point after that was here and then the final one was here so one two three and four and that has drawn two triangles so this one and then the final triangle right here and it has interpolated the colors throughout that is it for this tutorial in the next part of this series we're going to be looking at drawing vertex arrays with textures if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube all the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day